E T Home Phone. Look at it and little Elliot. So cute. Um, whenever you think of an alien needing to call home or a shark jumping out of the water or dinosaurs coming to life, one filmmaker comes to mind. Who is it? It's Steven Spielberg. Yeah, real quick, does E.T. hold up even now? Yeah, it 100%. Yeah, it does. Okay, okay, Paul, calm down. Yeah, yes, I know. Yeah, I know. I almost I know. You just, just, just jumped like, oh, oh. <laughs> just, I know. I haven't shown the kids yet. I'm just a little worried. Like, oh, they, I, I, I watched it with my kids. I, I, oh. I guess I'm going to have to show the kids. Yes, okay. It was so good. Let's get, let's get, let's get okay, this train back on the track. <laughs> okay. Spielberg's new film, The Fablemans, mm -hmm. is semi-autobiographical of Steven's own life. And no surprise, it's getting a lot of Oscar talk, but is it worth the cash? Okay, <laughs> so here to tell us from the website Paul's Trip to the Movies, it's Paul McGuire Ryan. Ah. Okay. Hello. Should we start with E.T. or, okay. Um, <laughs> We're good get it e. off your chest. Yes, okay. The Fablemans, I think, is Spielberg at his most personable, his most raw. I mean, we've seen him use family themes before in E.T., but when he's directly talking about his life and how he really turned to the movies, whether it was making them, home videos of his family, going to the movies, to really cope with his parents' eventual divorce. They're played by Paul Dano and Michelle Williams, and all of the anti-Semitism that he faced in high school for being Jewish. Wow. Mm. And that's Judd Hirsch as Uncle Bor. So it's a heavy movie at times, but it's also very funny, very light. You're seeing Spielberg as most playful, and Michelle Williams, so great, such heart, such soul as Spielberg's mom. She's it's such really a talent, a treat. though, in general. Incredible. Okay, so how many tickets does Five you? out of five for the Oh, Hitman. this is the five yes, out of five? Yes, yes. And wow. if you know your Spielberg movies, you will see just references to all some of his past movies in there. It's just a joy to see the power of film on display and how we, why movies are so important. But it's in the movie theater. Like, yes, you gotta go yeah. to the gotta theater. Gotta go to the theater. See, and you really want to. You want to see Spielberg on a big screen. Yeah. Okay. Now, now, how familiar do you have to be with all of his other movies to really you know, appreciate the film? I mean, I don't think you need to be that familiar, but there's a scene where you see the kids on bikes. You also see, like, a light in a doorway, like, close encounters of the third kind. So. Yeah. Mm. It's not like you need to be like a Spielberg nut like I am to enjoy it, but you should still, you know. Yeah, okay. have some familiarity with it. So Don't okay. question E.T. in front of Paul McGuire. I guess. Yeah, it's I wasn't questioning like a movie. I was like, does it hold up? Like, Woo! I love it. Okay, Strange World is one yes. that's in theaters. This is the latest one from Disney, oh. and it's a three-generational father-son story. They are farmers, explorers, who go to this subterranean labyrinth in order to save this magical crop on their planet. What's happening with it, though? Mm. It's, I really enjoyed it. Really? You know, what's really fascinating about this is that Disney did not promote this very well. I had and no I, idea it was even coming well, out, Well, that's Paul. the problem. Yeah. And I have they, kids. Yes, but I think Disney has also conditioned us to just go to Disney+. Plus. Right. So to ask a parent, like, would you go and probably pay 80 no. to 100 bucks to mm -mm. take your kids to the theater? No, you're going to wait a couple months yeah. for it to be on Disney+. Plus. That's why it's not doing well at the box office. But I think when the kids watch it, it's full of adventure. Peril. I think kids will really be excited by it. It's 90 minutes. It's not a musical either. Okay. Mm. So it's funny. You get lots of dad jokes. They live in a very like accepting, inclusive world. So you're seeing this kind of parent, grandparent, grandson relationship at a very present, kind of grounded, realistic world today. And animation. Stunning. The animation yeah. looks great. Always stunning. Interesting. Yeah. Okay, yeah. That's, that's why I think you have to go see it in the movies. I, I'm, yeah. I'm surprised they didn't. I, I never even heard about it in the theaters. It opened Thanksgiving weekend with the Fablemans, and people just, I think they went and saw Glass Onion instead. I mean, why aren't they th putting trailers on Disney Plus to get you excited about it or something? Good idea. Because I turn on Disney Plus like 18 times a day. <laughs> right. You know? Yeah. And like, why shouldn't it just like auto play? I don't uh, do I run Disney's marketing department? No, Paul, no, I you don't. Should. You should. You're the mother of three, you should. <laughs> No, I don't know. <laughs> Four out of five on this strange world. I really enjoyed it. Five. Wow, okay. that's actually really yeah. impressive. I've talked to a few people that have seen it, and they probably wouldn't give it four out okay, of five. Okay, well, but that's okay. You know, we all have the, our tastes. Yes, you're the movie do. guy. You're we the all movie have guy. Our okay, how about this one? I have not heard of She Said. Yes. What is Very She powerful. Said? So it says Carrie Mulligan, Zoe Kazad, as the two New York Times reporters who really led the charge in the takedown of Harvey Weinstein. Mm. They published this book, this, this report, interviewing past employees of Miramax, interviewing actresses to really find out the danger of Harvey Weinstein yeah. and how the path is really falls in line with a lot of great movies about journalism spotlight all the president's men I do think it's missing like that drive and the urgency that those two had okay. but really it's about these women how hard it is to tell those stories. Does anybody play Harvey Weinstein in it? There is an actor that plays him. Okay. You also have Ashley Judd playing herself. Oh. But then you have like Jennifer Ely and Samantha Morton playing other victims. You have voiceover actors playing Donald Trump and Rose McGowan. So you kind of have a mix of 
how real people are used in it. Okay. It's fascinating. How many tickets have you Four out of five. It's a very important story to hear. Mm -hmm. You hear how hard it is for women, you know, to come forward and why they can't. What Harvey did in the industry, in this world, to shut everyone up. Yeah, because that was always the big question. It's like, oh, you're talking about, like, he was awful to these women. Well, they were powerful and they were amazing and these women were all superstars, but they yeah. weren't always. No. So, you know, I think that context would be important to yes, see. Yes, for sure. Okay, and that's in theaters and you can and watch And on it? demand, yep. On demand. Yeah. Yes. And that's not, in, in, is it implied kind of what happened privately or they're not no. showing stuff, are they? They, well, they? they play audio conversation from the tapes that have been yeah. released mm. and you get these women talking about what happened. So, I mean, you have to go Good. in okay. and be... No, you're going to hear things that you're not going to like. Yeah. Okay. That right. are very at least not visually, because I heard there were some really bad things that happened. Oh, Thank yeah. Thank you, Paul. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah. Thank we you. We appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. Hey, on December 14th, Paul's going to host a secret movie night Ooh. at Imagine Minnesota Willow Creek in Plymouth. Wow, that's kind of fun. Very you can fun. also visit Paul's website, paulstriptothemovies.com, for updates on movies and streaming services. And TCL's movie trip is brought to you by Muska Lighting. Right now, they're offering TCL viewers 10% off all Hinkley light fixtures, like the ones you're seeing now. You can shop online, too. Head to muskalighting.com. Thanks to Muska Lighting for sponsoring TCL's movie trip. Replace old and dated fixtures with a new light and change the look and feel of your home. Our mudroom fixture from Muska Lighting is a total showstopper. We get compliments from everyone who walks through the door. Talk to the experts at Muska Lighting in Roseville and Eden Prairie for help finding the perfect light for you.